Can the artificial super intelligence asset provide life changing returns? Can it 20 X? Well, we're going to go into exactly what this digital asset is and uncover why it may be one of the highest quality digital assets on the planet that is selling off on deep discount and has potentially massive upside. So what is this asset? Fetch AI, Singularity Net, and Ocean Protocol merged to form Super Intelligence Alliance, right? ASI, Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance. So these are three assets that combine. These are not the only three assets that are going to combine. The mission is to compete with big tech, right? Combine the network effects, combine the resources of the highest quality decentralized artificial intelligence assets on the planet and compete with the biggest players on the planet to actually create decentralized artificial intelligence. It is a huge task they have ahead for themselves. Can they pull it off? That's the only risk with the asset, understanding whether or not they actually can pull this off. That's the only risk. But let's dive deeper into understanding this asset so we can figure out its potential, right? This is the ASI software ecosystem. This is an example sub network, the initial vision, right? I have NuNet circled because NuNet is also an early stage, tiny market cap asset called NTX that is clearly at this point going to be an integral part of this ecosystem that people are sleeping on. But we're looking at the bigger ASI token, right? Which again has Fetch AI for application agents on your mobile phone. We have Singularity Net, which is going to have applications for the user. And then we have the Ocean Protocol, which is going to have AI applications for the user. And a lot of that's going to be built on Ethereum, on Cardano, on Fetch AI's blockchain, on HyperCycle, another early stage asset. So we have huge teams building out this decentralized AI all over the world. Now, who is the person behind Fetch AI, because this is really the leader, the mastermind of this ecosystem. Humayun Sheik is the leader of Fetch AI. And this article is about him, right? DeepMind would have probably failed without Google, says early investors. This article says everything about what is going on. Founding DeepMind investor Humayun Sheik told CNBC that the London AI lab would have probably failed if Google hadn't bought it. Google paid a reported $600 million for DeepMind in 2014. So the person who's created creating Fetch AI and leading the artificial super intelligence ecosystem sold a company to Google for $600 million in the AI space. He has a huge amount of credibility, right? So could this be one of the highest quality AI plays on the planet, if not one of the top decentralized digital assets on the planet? Let's keep going, right? Because Deutsche Telekom, the parent company of T-Mobile, a multi-billion dollar global company, Bosch, which had revenue of 92 billion euros in 2023, and Fetch AI Foundation collaborate to advance AI. Now, Deutsche Telekom is also part of the Hedera Hashgraph ecosystem and also a member on their council, but you have two global multi-billion dollar companies collaborating to advance AI with Fetch AI. That is absolutely massive. Bosch, multi-billion dollar company, and Fetch AI reveal a cross decentralized physical infrastructure all in one sensor device running AI agents. It really doesn't get bigger than this. So they're creating this sensor kit that can collect all sorts of valuable data. And Bosch, which is the world's largest sensor manufacturer, Fetch AI, Web3 Platform, and Peak are enabling XDK to work with multiple D-pins and to monetize this data. Temperature sensors, pressure sensors, light sensors. Again, this is a multi-billion dollar company creating sensors in smart home appliances, right? Using Fetch's software does not get bigger than this. Here's another example. Bosch's XDK, they get temperature and device ID data. They link that over to Fetch AI's AI software, and that's how customers interact with it. People are sleeping on what is going on with these decentralized assets. Fetch AI has a powerful team and a powerful foundation behind it. And they've been able to unite SingularityNet and Ocean Protocol, right? So that's Fetch 
What about Singularity Net? Well, this is Singularity Net's ecosystem currently. They have Singularity DAO. They have NuNet. That's decentralized cloud computing. They have Rejuve AI. That's biotechnology. They have Cogito. They have Twin Protocol. They have Sophiaverse. That's gaming. The Metaverse. They have Deep Funding. Mindplex, right? Hypercycle. A lot of this will be used as part of the infrastructure of the Artificial Superintelligence Alliance, but it is a massive ecosystem. And what they're kind of creating is a decentralized hive mind that spans all industries that's going to be providing the software and network needed to create a real decentralized AI. It's kind of like a hive mind, a marketplace of all these different decentralized services. Who is using SingularityNet, right? Well, BNB Chain and SingularityNet Foundation collaborate to revolutionize the decentralized data economy. BNB Chain is the blockchain of Binance, which is a multi billion dollar company, probably the biggest player in crypto. And they their blockchain is using Singularity Net, right? Clearly, there's a use case here. By combining Singularity Net's unique integration of diverse AI algorithms and AI application engineering expertise, with BNB Greenfield's data storage capabilities, a synergy is created that will deliver innovative solutions to the market. So SingularityNet is going to help monetize all the data that's being stored on BNB Chain's data storage solutions. And this is a brand new partnership. So clearly we're getting adoption of the ASI tokens technology. Then we had Definity, which is the main nonprofit leading development on the internet computer. Definity tapping SingularityNet to bring AI services to dApps. This was before the ASI Alliance was launched. So I don't think this is going to go through anymore. But the fact that Definity saw value in SingularityNet is massive, right? So we have Fetch AI, SingularityNet, two quality assets, each and of themselves, joining forces in this quality decentralized AI asset, right? Then we have the Ocean Protocol. This is what the Ocean Protocol is really known for, running AI-powered prediction bots or trading bots on crypto price feeds to earn money. They have Ocean Predictor. Here's the on-chain data. Nothing super impressive. In white, we see unique active wallets of 63. So not many people are using it, but we do see 16,000 transactions a day, right? So we're seeing usage of it. So these guys are using AI to read and monetize and use data to provide predictive models, right? So they're kind of the data layer of this ecosystem. And this is what Ocean Protocol is building. Introducing Ocean Nodes, decentralized practical solution for building powerful AI. So it's simplifying the process of using Ocean to manage data sharing on decentralized rails, manage data sharing, right? On top of this, any GPU provider will soon be able to share and monetize their computational resources directly via Ocean Protocol, ultimately lowering the barrier to entry for everyone to participate in the new data economy, right? That's what protocol is all about the data economy how is it being distributed how is it being used they're also getting into the gpu providing game right we need decentralized gpu computational power to power real decentralized ai so that is what they're building so ocean protocol so far probably the least impressive asset but they have plenty going for it plenty of capital interesting software and they're a founding member of this new ASI alliance. So as far as artificial intelligence crypto asset goes, this is one of the best. Yes, AI can run fully on chain on ICP. That is massive as well. And then yes, we talked about BitTensor, but these are some of the highest quality assets by far, right? So they're all kind of doing different things. This one has a massive chance of succeeding, a massive chance of providing life-changing returns. Now, the only risk is, can they do it? Because that is a huge, huge claim to create enough AI power to compete with big tech, right? That's the only risk. But as venture capitals and early stage technology, you have to take the risk. You look at the team, you look at the technology, look at what's being built, and you take the risk and you diversify in case one doesn't work as well as the others, right? But this one is so much going for it, so much potential upside. The only question is, will they be able to succeed on their massive mission? If they do, then the sky is absolutely the limit.